existing request. Okay, I'm going to call the meeting to order. My wife says six thirty. <coughs> call this work session of the Snowball Mayor and Council to order. First thing, um, the regular business and hearing agenda. Uh, if, without objection, I'm going to ask for a. Uh, um, a motion to waive the first reading on all the all the public hearing items. You want to do that with one for all, or each individual? I, I each think individual. Thank we you. probably need to do each individual. Yeah, since yeah, we it out. yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, no consent agenda. No old business. No new business. Uh, really, uh, we've got a. Did Kelly Macalone? Is she here? She's she not here. Be. We need to let her know she's got three minutes. She's <laughs> <laughs> got six minutes in Kelly. <laughs> no, no, we, we put three, we'll have to tell Erica, put three minutes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get over it. She, uh, she starts talking. And then we're going to give the presentation of the Volunteer of the Year Award to the Snowball Senior Civic Center uh, volunteer. So that's it for our uh, public hearing. So now let's go on to the, do we have any correspondence? That's <coughs> city attorney? Nothing except the executive session. We okay, don't have an executive session. Um, ongoing projects? Um, the very first one, the town center, I have a couple of property issues to bring up in that executive session. Uh, but uh, that <coughs> tells you we're moving forward, uh, uh, having a lot of good conversations. I felt like the board retreat was helpful uh, in that regard. And regarding the board retreat, Eric, you have the summary, mm -hmm. the final summary from the facilitators. And uh, uh, I'd ask you all to look that over. And uh, uh, <coughs> Christy and Barbara, uh, you all, I don't think, could be there. So if you have any questions, just call myself or Eric, and we'll... Uh, We'll be glad to answer those. There's a there are a couple of things in here that are going to come up on my on my update, uh, but uh, I felt like with the with the DDA there, the Development Authority of Snellville, and you know I, I'd ask Nelson and Matt who were who were present. Uh, I felt like it was a, a good chance to kind of unify the the position of, of the city and, and our and our board members. I thought it went went very well. Uh, got a lot of facts out, so uh, um, I think it, it helped the, the overall town center planning um, an awful lot. So, um, and do you feel like as a result of this, do you feel like all of their goals and priorities are in alignment with what we're trying to I think so. I, you know, I, I really think so. Um, and uh, I think the DDA meets on Thursday. Thursday. 4.30. 4.30. I can be there to uh, uh, appoint a subcommittee, a finance subcommittee, where we'll um, get serious about uh, uh, financing options and, and numbers and everything. So uh, that will help keep us together. So uh, I, I, I thought it was very good. And I appreciate uh, Eric lining that up and uh, getting good facilitators there. <coughs> Joint city and county plans. I know uh, uh, the mayor has carried on uh, 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 his conversation with the county folks, yeah. and uh, uh, we're going to follow up with a uh, with a meeting with the, the proper county staff and exactly that's and officials to start working on the IGA. So uh, um, that's and we will have a uh, a draft. Uh, we've gotten a couple of IGAs that they have put together with Lilburn. And, uh, uh, and Duluth, and we'll have a draft of what we would like, uh, rather than just to go in there with nothing. And uh, we'll, we'll have legal review of that and talk about that also. Uh, <clears throat> public relations and marketing. I think you all have seen uh, the, the simple one-page tear-off map that, uh, uh, that has, has put together. This, it, it's not meant to be a, I'll just pass that around, y'all can grab one if you want to. It's not meant to be comprehensive. Uh, it's really going to be in the departments, and when somebody comes by and has a, has a question, there will be a, a city representative who can uh, share that with them and kind of point out 
uh, the area they're talking about where they need to go uh, just uh, kind of gives us this is a sort of an interim uh, map until staff can come up with their updated big city map that has all the uh, all the coordinate or the, all the coordinates and a good key for all of our uh, uh, all of our city streets and, and areas so uh, uh, this just gives people something to look at when they when they come in and can talk to somebody uh, tree replacement at DDR Shopping Center still on on track for January 9th and, and January 23rd coming to uh, the mayor and council so uh, um, we'll, uh, we'll be ready for that the town hall meetings this is another uh, thing that came up at the, at the board retreat uh, and potentially notice I put a question mark there but uh, for the next town hall meeting having a DDA focus um, where <clears throat> we can talk about uh, results of the planning session, what has happened since then, uh, DDA, DAS plans. Um, you know, I also put in there under comments a need for review and, and planning the meeting ahead. But that was one item of discussion that came out of the uh, out of the uh, board retreat. So uh, it's something for the mayor and council to think about. Well, we need to go ahead and get a date set for that. And so we have a goal for it, and now we just keep putting it off. I think that, um, give ourselves enough time, I would think maybe either the end of February or the beginning of March, you know, so that we have enough time to plan it correctly. And uh, I think we could probably tie in, when we talk about downtown, it seems that we get, that, that brings people in. So I think we can do the DDA thing like Butch was saying, but I also think we can, throw in there that there'll be an update on, on the downtown so we can tell everybody where we are at that point, wherever we are at that point. Okay, so I, I think it'd be good to give us enough time too so that we do have something more to report than, than what we presently have. So we, would everybody be okay with like the middle of March, like the Thursday the 9th or the 16th? How about the 16th? How does that look? 16th would be better for me. I think it'd be better for everybody. You know, and that gives us more time, and and it'll also give us time to to uh, to publicize it. You know, and get make sure we do get people. Up there. Kelly, you missed the first part of the meeting, but we have added you to the agenda. You have three minutes for your report on the agenda, and we will be a timer. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> We have our city attorney here too. Showing up on time is important. Yeah, <laughs> probably got five minutes that didn't been here when we talked about it. But you weren't. <laughs> okay, March 16th. March 16th. Um, March 16th. Citizens <laughs> Academy, of course, has been postponed. We'll work on the first class in spring. The UDO, uh, we have first reading on the town center guidelines. Uh, scheduled for Thursday. Everybody remember a short meeting on Thursday at 6.30. Caleb Rossico will be here uh, not to give a, a big PowerPoint presentation, just an overview, uh, a reminder more or less of the, uh, of the guidelines. I think Jason sent out the uh, final version today, uh, just, just tweaked uh, a little bit, so uh, um, take a look at that. That'll be 6.30 on Thursday. Um, Charter Review Committee, uh, Tony. Really, all I can say we're you know, home rule options still in play. Mm -hmm. and they are. Uh, we're drafting. We're drafting a home rule option for for everybody to look at. So. Okay. Well. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I really don't have anything to <coughs> add as far as uh, eBay sales. We're kind of turn our focus is turning to next year. Kind of uh, exhausted our uh, uh, surplus items. Um, Hey, we, we have a few more, uh, I guess, IT items that aren't going to aren't going to amount to much. So we're right in the twenty thousand dollar ballpark for for this year. Um, when it comes to recreation and senior planning, uh, we received our Oak Road Park bids. They're under review by uh, Goodwin Mills and Kaywood. Uh, they came in. We budgeted two hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, the low bid came in at two eighty one. Uh, so we uh, will need to look at that and uh, let me ask you a question can't we use some of the tree fund for that 
Uh, we're, we're, we're looking at every, every option to reduce that number down. Okay, but I mean, uh, can, is that something that's that's uh, for landscaping and trees? Yeah, yeah. So we do, you know, and, we want to uh, look um, too. So it's a uh, we have quite a we, money we we haven't given up uh, the possibility of getting down to that two hundred fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollar number. Um, we have saved on some uh, projects uh, in our SPLOS funding. Um, you know, I, I feel like the money's there. Just we'll just see where we get it down to. <clears throat> The uh, um, roundabout construction, we are uh, uh, once again dealing with, uh, with two folks there. Um, DDR, I have a meeting next week. Um, I think it's a, uh, uh, the attorney who was involved in the uh, tree discussion, Ken Jones. I think it's uh, Ken's paralegal who is uh, uh, working with uh, Moreland Altabelli and with DDR folks. So hopefully we'll get that through. <clears throat> Oak Road side, sidewalk, I think it uh, looks very good. Uh, it's something that uh, when once the park is done, uh, it's, it's going to have a, a, a big impact on, on, on the local neighborhoods. Um, we had a... Um, I guess a citizen SPLOS review committee meeting last week, and I just wanted to tell them how uh, a project like this, SPLOS dollars, it's not just the concrete and the asphalt and everything, it's the connections that you make. And we've made a lot of good connections out there. Um, people out there are more involved in the community, know what's going on, I think that park's going to be a big success. 78 and 124, um, right of way acquisition is, is ongoing. Uh, we continue uh, trying to provide, I guess, being the conduit between a lot of property owners and, and the DOT. Uh, I had a meeting the other day uh, on another subject with Mr. Brett, um, answered his questions regarding uh, DOT. Hopefully, uh, um, you know, they're, they're, they're they're acquiring property at a, at a pretty good rate. Uh, there obviously are going to be a couple hold downs. I uh, don't know whether you noticed, but the tire store is closed. Mm -hmm. It's vacant mm -hmm. now. That was uh, it's my understanding that what they're doing is as they acquire the property, they're giving the tenants 30 days to vacate. Mm -hmm. So uh, they must have completed that purchase because um, it's, it's gone. Uh, Big red tire thing is there, a tire on it. That's not gone yet. But. That's saying, right? That's just a remembrance so of that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we need to take a picture of that before it's gone. So, you know, we don't want it to become like the Christmas tree in the middle of the road that we That's never had true. a picture of. Yeah. We always want to be able to remember our tire. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in Tom's front yard. <laughs> yeah, do a life size rendering. I'm tonight. sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. This is, I, I, uh, I like the discussion there. Uh, the next two are kind of connected. Um, I know that Chrissy Marlowe has, has tried to get in touch with everybody and asked a few questions so she could put her agenda together right. and, and everything. If you haven't, I'm delinquent. Okay. If you haven't uh, uh, answered that, please do get that back to her. I'll answer to and, uh, um, you know, that, that, and the residential an annexation may be a topic for discussion at the retreat. Mm -hmm. um, so. Minus 20. Um, we can, uh, and I think, Melissa, as far as retreat organization, uh, we need to know for that evening uh, how many hotel rooms we need, uh, who will be there that evening. So uh, um, I'll just have um, Arianne check with all of you uh, so we can get a number and get it back to, to Athens if you don't know now. Uh, but, but check on that, that January 7th night. I think we have everything else pretty well uh, in place. Um, and uh, uh, the City Hall Plaza, um, uh, all I can say is that uh, you have the plans for review, uh, and I guess uh, um, a lot of that hinges on uh, uh, some other things, but uh, Michael, um, Bobby, I know Michael um, would be glad to come and talk about that anytime. Yeah, whenever we can invite him in to talk Take about that. Take that next step. And that's pretty much those. All right. <clears throat>
Does anyone else have anything that you want to bring up? Anyone in the council? Our next have, meeting uh, is not until June 25. the 9th of January. Is that right? I mean, other than Thursday. Yeah. January. January. Okay. Cancel the nuisance second. Act. Right. Wait, we do have one more item. I apologize. The nuisance action at 2815 Hickory Trail. Roger? Yeah. You got your name on it. They put my name on it. <laughs> Roger's a, a, a planning oh, okay. liaison, and it's Jason, different. you want to give them an update? I yeah, think everybody's just, seen um, the pictures. Pretty typical of what we're running into now with some of these homes, so it's just another one we want to get right there. moving via the abatement process. It seems once the a legitimate letter comes from the city attorney's office, people start acting. We've had some pretty good success without having to do anything except send some letters and, some, and some collect some fees. So. This is another one that's been going on over almost a year now, and uh, the bank doesn't want to claim it and that kind of thing, so uh, we just want to get it started in the process. Well, uh, objection. Um, 20, let's authorize 15. the city attorney to write that letter and get the ball rolling. So that's probably what you Any objection? Do you have a street view of this? Because I, I drove so up and down trying to find that house, and I couldn't find that house. 20. And it's vacant, I assume? It's your yeah, house. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> it's my house. So it's like in the woods somewhere? Yeah, oh, so it's, it's like hidden in the back. Okay. And the leaves are dropping quick, though. How do they spot this if it's hidden in the woods? We get a lot of complaints, and the neighbors notice it. Really oh, quick. in the back. And then, oh, yeah, and then you know, it just gets worse and worse. And then we have two city council in that neighborhood. You could. Yeah, you spot it. It's your street and mine. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> A During the work priorities. session of the mayor and the city council's novel, Georgia Mayor Witts announced that certain matters should be discussed in a closed session of the meeting and asked council to advise the city with respect to closing the meeting. The city attorney Tola Powell advised that the city has the following reason to close the meeting. To discuss pending and or potential litigation, settlement claims, administrative proceedings, or other judicial actions which is exempt from the Open Meetings Act pursuant to OCGA Section 50-14-2, subparagraph 1. To offer...